Hey guys, Tech Made Easy. Hope all is well. Listen, in this video, it's all about Ryobi and really just a follow up after getting some messages uh, from some subscribers uh, about the mulch plug being properly installed. Um, I'm going to show you a video on how I struggled to get this thing installed, even with the instructions. I will then show you another video uh, of me using the mulch plug as best I can with the proper uh, installation. Again, it won't lock in place, and yet grass still comes through. And I'll also show you our 2021 and our 2020 videos with the previous model and the current model on how you know the Ryobi really needs to fix the mulch plug. Um, look, it's a great mower. It keeps getting better, but uh, as you know, this channel is about detail. And, um, you know, I, I, I like Ryobi, I like Greenworks, Cobalt, you know, they don't really have as many uh, products. For some reason, they're really hard to find. But, all right, listen, let's go through this, and I hope this is helpful for you. All right, guys, I am per performing heart surgery here. If you remember, Ryobi has always had a challenge with the mulch plug. So after feedback from a, subs a couple of subscribers... I went into the manual, and all it says is A, rear discharge opening. Okay, that makes sense. B, mulch plug. That's a device. C, there's a tab. So they're pointing out this tab. D, there's a slot. They're pointing out this slot. Now, if you remember how I showed you, how I put it in, you know, it took a little wiggling, right? But I got it in. Well, I had it in that way, right? I mean, it looks flush, it looks correct, but it's not because it leaves a lot of opening. But here's the problem. If you try to put this in correctly, and I now need to put the camera in some kind of holder, so bear with me, all right? A little bit of camera shakage here. But in order for me to put this in properly, and it won't go in properly, I'm telling you now, and not for nothing, mulch plugs should never be this complicated okay never never so i'm going to try to get this angled so you see what i'm doing here okay now don't get me wrong if this is incorrectly it will actually close up the hole and not a lot of mulch will come through okay so this is actually supposed to hang over all right if you can see that it's supposed to hang over and here's the funny part this is supposed to lock under this bar here. You see this little bar? Okay, but it doesn't. Okay, it just does not. You, you cannot, you, you know, this is as good as you're gonna get it, but this is actually supposed to um, go underneath this bar. You see this little holder? It's supposed to hold it in, but it doesn't, again, the way they designed it, it basically will not go under, all right? Um, and this, and I'm pushing this really hard against this. So that might prevent more mulch from going in. But if I take this camera out, obviously you still see some holes, you know, some nice size holes. Look at these holes. Um, you know, so it's just not a good design. Uh, you know, it's all I could say because I'm pushing this down and it's sliding back up. You know, and it's not locking underneath this mechanism. I mean, and I'm pretty sure someone got theirs to work because all of these are basically mass produced. But again, a very bad design. All right, guys, so I've got the mulch plug installed the best I can. All right, it is pushed down, but it keeps popping up because it doesn't lock. And that is definitely a design flaw. You cannot get this underneath to lock. So I will try to self repel and we'll see what type of grass comes out now that I have it installed this way. All right, let me just start the motor.
Well, and as you can see, I'm not happy with that, you know? I mean, honestly, that was just a small patch I did. And, I mean, this thing's just shooting grass through the mulch plug. So why have a mulch plug? So I'm going to pull up two videos. I'm going to pull up uh, this year's, and I'm going to pull up last year's. I'll just show you kind of what I went through. And, uh, yeah, Ryobi needs to fix this. You know, there's a couple of things they, they should do to make their mowers better. You know, like I don't like these plastic pieces. I'm not a fan of that. Um, but this is all about the mulch plug. I mean, honestly, it's not really plugging because that's a mess coming through the mulch plug. So all I'm going to do is push the button. We're going to, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch down there. So I'm going to try to hold this as steady as I can. And just watch. And look, I, I already see grass. stop now I'm gonna go ahead and lift this handle up we'll take a close look I only did a small section right guys um, but yeah I did see some grass coming out already you know, I mean that grass was actually coming out it wasn't like it was going and and <laughs> take a look 2021 with grass leakage as well so something they need to work on All right, pull the lever in, push the button. And I want to take a look at that in a minute. All right, guys, I want to show you something. Look at that mulch block. Watch it. Hey guys, I don't know. I don't think they designed that back part properly because I've got it closed properly and everything. Let me zoom out because the zooming is going to make us all dizzy. But um, yeah, I mean, look at the amount of grass in the area where the mulch plug is blocking. You see that? All that grass in there? That was shooting in from back in the corner. And I don't know when I zoomed in while you were watching. I don't know if you saw, but let me let me take this out for a second because I want, I want to see what this looks like. All right. So if we take out the mulch plug, all right, it takes a little bit of wiggling, but look how much was behind the mulch plug that got through. Forget the front. Look at how much on the side. You see all this? You see all this? All right, guys, so again, my goal is to be helpful. I hope this information helps you. Um, if you're thinking about buying the Ryobi, you know, you might just want to think twice if you really care about the quality of the mulch going into your lawn. They need to work on this. They've been trying, you know, they've been trying. But uh, all right, so if the video is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. That helps the channel. Definitely post your comments and your questions and, um, you know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. We'd love to have you as a family member. Thanks so much. Have a great day.